Have you ever wondered what it would be like to set foot on another planet? To stand on the scorching plains of Mercury? Feel the crushing atmosphere of Venus? Or traverse the dusty landscapes of Mars? But here's the real question. How long could you actually survive on each of these alien worlds without the protection of a spacesuit? Today, we're embarking on an interplanetary journey to explore the harsh realities of our solar system's planets and the profound effects they would have on the human body. Earth is our sanctuary, uniquely equipped to support human life. With its perfect balance of oxygen, nitrogen, and other gases, moderate temperatures, and protective magnetic field, Earth is a paradise by cosmic standards. Our bodies have evolved in harmony with Earth's specific conditions, making it the ideal environment for our survival. Let's start with Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. If you were to stand on Mercury, the first thing you'd notice is the Sun, three times larger in the sky than it appears from Earth. But don't get too comfortable admiring the view. Mercury has no significant atmosphere to speak of, which means no air to breathe, no buffer against the sun's radiation, and no moderation of temperature extremes. During the day, temperatures soar to a blistering 800 degrees Fahrenheit, 430 degrees Celsius. At night, without the sun's warmth, they plummet to a bone-chilling minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. If you were lucky enough to arrive at dawn or dusk, when temperatures are briefly more moderate, you'd still face lethal radiation from the sun and the vacuum of space. Without a spacesuit, you'd survive less than two minutes before succumbing to the lack of oxygen and the hostile environment. Next up is Venus, Earth's so-called twin. At first glance, Venus might seem familiar. It's about the same size as Earth, and its surface is dotted with mountains and plains. But any resemblance ends there. Venus's atmosphere is a thick soup of carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid. The surface pressure is 90 times greater than Earth's, which is like being 3,000 feet underwater. Temperatures hover around 900 degrees Fahrenheit, 475 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt lead. If you set foot on Venus, you wouldn't even have time to realize how unlucky you are. The crushing pressure, searing heat, and toxic atmosphere would kill you in less than a second. Mars, the red planet, has long captured our imaginations. Scientists dream of colonizing it, and its landscapes are oddly reminiscent of deserts here on Earth. But let's be clear, Mars is no picnic. Mars is cold. Its average temperature is minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 60 degrees Celsius, but it can drop to minus 200 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 130 degrees Celsius at the poles. The air is 95% carbon dioxide, with only a trace amount of oxygen. If you stepped out onto the Martian surface without a spacesuit, you'd lose consciousness in less than a minute due to the lack of oxygen. The low atmospheric pressure would cause your body fluids to boil away, and you'd last about two minutes before you'd perish. Now, let's venture into the realm of the gas giants, starting with Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system, a massive ball of hydrogen and helium with no solid surface to stand on. If you tried to enter Jupiter's atmosphere, you'd encounter increasingly dense layers of gas and crushing pressures. Long before you'd reach anything resembling a core, you'd be crushed by the immense atmospheric pressure. Survival time? Less than a second. Saturn, with its stunning rings, is another gas giant with a similar story. There's no solid ground, and the atmospheric conditions are just as unforgiving as Jupiter's. You'd face extreme pressures, violent storms, and frigid temperatures. If you attempted to descend into Saturn's atmosphere, you'd be crushed and frozen almost instantly. Uranus, the first of the ice giants, has a calm appearance with its pale blue color. But don't be deceived. Uranus's atmosphere is a frigid mix of hydrogen, helium, and methane. Temperatures dip as low as minus 370 degrees, 
Fahrenheit, minus 220 degrees Celsius. The high pressure atmosphere would crush you instantly if you tried to explore it. Finally, we arrive at Neptune, the most distant planet in our solar system. Its deep blue color hints at its violent weather. Neptune's winds are the fastest in the solar system, reaching speeds of up to 1,200 miles per hour. 1,931 kilometers per hour. Temperatures are unimaginably cold, and the atmospheric pressure would crush you immediately. Our journey through the solar system reveals one undeniable truth. Earth is unique. It is a sanctuary in a hostile cosmos, perfectly suited for life. So the next time you look up at the night sky, take a moment to appreciate the fragile bubble of life we call home. It's a reminder of just how precious and rare our planet truly is. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.